Were there once giant trees on Earth? Many have pointed to peculiar structures such as Devil's Tower, uh, the Arizona Mesas, and similar structures all over the world that look like giant broken tree trunks. Now, these structures really do look like giant petrified tree trunks. They flare out at the bottom, uh, as you would see in a root system on a tree. The uh, structure itself looks like a tree trunk. And of course, this idea that these, are, these structures are giant tree trunks seems incredible to me. It seems incredible to the geologists too. They don't believe these are giant tree trunks. So initially, I set out to collect data to do a debunking video that these giant structures that look like trees are actually trees. This seems really very incredible to me. But when I went to look to see how these were formed, uh, the structure Devil's Tower in particular, they don't know. They have several theories, but they actually don't know how this structure came to be. And it looks so much like a tree trunk that you have to at least pause for a minute and say, hmm, is that even possible? We know in the past that there were giant animals so large that many engineers don't even believe they could have stood in Earth's gravity because Galileo's cube square law states that as the perimeter of an object grows incrementally, its volume grows exponentially. So there are some mesas to, not too far from where I live out in Arizona, and I decided to go for a, a hike out there and just look around in the foothills, and I did find some interesting rocks that do appear to look like tree bark, and some rocks that even have rings in them that look like rings from trees. So I thought, well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting to find something like that. And uh, so that also put another question in my mind, what's going on here? So I decided to look at some of these peculiar structures that you see in Devil's Tower and compare it with an actual known petrified tree. And Devil's Tower has these peculiar structures. They, they're like cells, square cells that go up and down. And to my surprise, Petrified trees also display these exact kind of squarish um, structures that go up and down in the fossil, in the, uh, in the petrified tree. Now for these giant structures that look like tree trunks to have actually been tree trunks, they would have had to have been buried at some time and been petrified. And I've heard objections that the, uh, the mineral composition of these structures, such as Devil Tower, is not exactly the same as what we find in petrified trees. And while I find that refutation to be reasonable, I don't find it entirely convincing because obviously any kind of fossil, petrified trees or other fossils, are going to take on the mineral content of whatever was in the area at the time they were fossilized. Now, I'm certainly not convinced these are tree trunks. I actually doubt they are tree trunks. The geologists doubt they are tree trunks. But there was one more thing that really caught my attention. And this is another structure called Devil's Post Pile in California. And the geologists believe it was formed by the same process as Devil's Tower in Wyoming. And when I looked at this structure, Devil's Post Pile, what I see is what looks like a broken, bent tree stump. You know, when a tree breaks, it kind of flares out and you get the, the little splinters kind of break out. Well, Devil's Post Pile, very much looks like that same type of thing. You can see the bend in the rock, like it was bent like a tree. It was soft at one point in time and bent and then, and then broken and flared out. And so that caught my eye as well. So therefore I am really, I'm still not convinced that these are tree trunks. And I rather doubt it, like the geologists doubt these are tree trunks. But I'm not 100% convinced that these are not ancient tree trunks. What do we really know about Earth's ancient past? We do know one thing, animals used to be massive in the past. And so the idea that trees were massive in the past at some point in time does not seem all that incredible to me. And of course, if something looks like a duck and walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, you know, it might just be a duck. These things do look like tree trunks. And not only do they look like tree trunks, but they display similar structures and characteristics of actual known fossilized trees and so you know i'll leave it up to you to decide for yourself i'm not convinced they're tree trunks but i'm not convinced they're not tree trunks <laughs>